Yay, so I'm here with Tom at Analog Solutions and we're going to look at the... Impulse Command. I'll repeat that. Impulse Command. It's a beautiful looking thing. Talk us through it. Yeah, okay, so uh, it's essentially a uh, dual filter stereo output analog synthesizer. Uh, the step sequencer here has, has been integrated beyond just filter cutoff and pitch. Um, it can also affect uh, the uh, input level to the effects processor nice. um, and some of the internal wiring is tweaked with the sequence, sequencer as well. And the idea is it's it's like an all-in-one package that you can lose yourself in and just have it looping and t tweak away. And obviously you can sync it to door, a door or you know MIDI and use it in a conventional way or just head, headphones and lose yourself. I think that's a good thing. Headphones lose yourself is always good, but actually yeah. having the option to, to to sync it to you know a project or, or anything that's maybe maybe more in the box is great as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so it's you know it's Euro rack friendly, um, you know MIDI friendly, uh, e easy to sync to either, um, or you just have a keyboard here for transposition reasons. Uh, but you can literally just have have the synth, synth itself. Uh, and sit and play. Uh, but it might be a good idea to record what you're doing because one thing this machine is really good at is happy accidents. Fantastic. Happy things. accidents? Yes. Happy not, little accidents. Not the bad ones. Um, and one, one of the things I wanted to achieve with this, which I've succeeded, is uh, you can set it up and it'll sound like maybe there's four simps playing at once uh, when it's just this one machine. Uh, slight, you know, radically different sounds on each beat, which well, hopefully we'll be able to try and demonstrate to you. Yeah. As you can see, I just kind of you get lost in it and you forget that it's somebody recording, and just <laughs> 20 minutes later, oh yeah, okay, so that's that's good. Yeah, it's, you just keep playing, and and it seems like. There's a drastically new sound, only like a 30 degree turn away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see that. It's nice sounds. I mean, it's very different. You start with the right sort of, sort of almost a vanilla sound, and off you go. And it's some, something that I don't know what it reminds me of. It's, it's a new sound. If you say it's a synthesizer, it, it's, it almost preconceives you with what, yeah. what it's going to be. But um, the response has been really good, and I think people get that. Uh, I've managed to achieve a rare thing of something that is seems to be genuinely a little bit unusual and different. Very I like that. I, I'm yeah. always drawn to something that, that that takes you somewhere else, you know. And I like there's, a, there's familiar ground there for everybody and anybody to get in. And suddenly you're getting really interesting sounds. That oh my word! Exactly. So make sure you hit record when you when you get <laughs> one of these and just keep keep recording because you know sometimes you. It might take a couple of minutes and then you nail that perfect, perfect yeah. beat. Uh, and then you can splice it up and do what you need to do. Well, I hope that gives you an idea. It uh, certainly does. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Tom, for sharing that with us. Uh, and I believe this is already available on the Tome website. If you want to go and avail yourself of this fantastic and versatile and and <laughs> imaginative synthesizer. Yes, yes, thank you. Yeah, it's on the Timeline website, so uh, click buy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Absolute thank pleasure. You. All right.